What's going on guys? So we're gonna start this vlog out in the car, headed to Sabaneta to another physical therapy appointment. This time I'll have to work on my back. My back has been killing me lately. So show you guys what's going on outside today. Alright guys, so you can see ton of traffic currently 82 degrees outside lots of traffic today that's why you always leave early you're never late and we'll probably get there right at three o'clock and they're usually five to ten minutes late because they're getting someone out so it kind of works out so we got a juggler here who does not perform for free most will do their little juggling act out there for free, but uh, found one that wouldn't. You gotta pay for him to perform, so that's that's different. But here on Nico, it's nombre of uh, calle is Avenida Poblado. See, sí. so Avenida Poblado, there's still a ton of construction here over by the Euro Market supermarket. So get ready for uh, a bottleneck. Wow. <laughs> he left his motorcycle in gear and forgot, lifted his hand up, <laughs> and it almost took off. So yeah, you gotta be careful on those motorcycles. Alright guys, so we finally made it to Sabaneta. Traffic is still very bad. Man, I don't understand the traffic here, dude, because look, cars will be all up on you, right next to you, on the side of you. Motorcycles passing on both sides. Yeah. Don't think I want to be driving here anytime soon. I mean, they all up on you. <laughs> so, I asked about these apartments right here. And you can get an apartment here, two bedroom, for right around one million. So you're talking a little more than 300 bucks for a one bedroom apartment. And something else I found out here too is there's a ton of veterans that are living here in Sabaneta because of HCA is close. So if you're coming here looking for federal veterans, was the one we looked at before with the small three bedroom that was right around 900,000 pesos. So if you don't really need a really big place, I mean, you can come here to Sabaneta and move in one of these apartments and you're surrounded by everything. Currently in Indigado, over here by the park. And then there's a skateboard park up here somewhere we're getting close to. If we haven't already passed it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Physical therapy. Now I'm headed back to the house or I'm thinking about going to Las Palmas to fly the drone. But dude, I gotta show you guys a bank. Bank of the Bogota, that's a business bank, but you can use the ATM and get out 1.5, 1 million 500 mil peso. Depending on the exchange rate, it's gonna be between 400 to about $450 you can take out at one time. That's, got lucky and found that bank, but it's not open all the time and the ATM is only open during business hours. I think it closes at four. From now on, <laughs> you can take that much out at one time. That's what I'm talking about. Got lucky and found it. But uh, now we're headed to Las Palmas, do some tricks with this drone, do the quick shots, and continue the series with it. Going on a trip tomorrow, try to get some uh, shots with that. And I'm using the Insta360 Go right now, Go 2. And I will be using the um, GoPro Hero 8 Black, and I'm selling them. Palmas. This is where I normally bring the drones to fly them real quick. 
show you guys out here. I'm using the uh, GoPro Hero 8 Black. Hopefully for the last time. I'm trying to sell all this stuff. Because the new stuff is getting ready to come out. No point in trying to keep that. And the new stuff. So the mic I'm keeping, which is the Sennheiser, but uh, these cameras are going to go. So this is where people come chill out a lot of times. Hang out. <laughs> I got uh, Jason using the Tello. about to take out the SE do some quick shots. See how well the quick shot works up here. It's not a lot of wind. So there's the SE. Close this side up and grab the remote. And I gotta clean my bag. It's like 30. Alright, here's the remote. 